when I was living in New York, there was one day I was walking down the street, and right where these white chairs are, I was walking, and, and there was an old blind guy, you know, with the cane about the distance from these chairs, and as I'm walking, he just stops right there, and he goes, is anybody there? <laughs> is anybody there? And I did what anyone would do. I just froze, you know what I mean? I froze. <laughs> I knew he couldn't see me, but I, I, I imagined his hearing was like unbelievable. Like even if I shuffled, he would hear a shuffle. So I just like, I stayed put, you know? And my first thought was, run, dude, just run. Yeah, you'll feel guilty for a couple of blocks, but then you'll get to your destination on time. You don't have to deal. This wasn't gonna be a like, hey, do you know what time it is? This is gonna be like, can you go to the market and get me some Capicola? You know what I mean? That's what this was gonna be. So I was like, run. And, and then my second thought was a comedic thought. You know, my, my comedic mind popped in and it was like, how about you tiptoe up to him and then you whisper in his ear, I'm everywhere, and then go. I'd be giving that guy Jesus. He'd be like, what? But I couldn't do that, you know? I was like, all right, just, you know, I, I realized at that moment, this guy had just given up. You know what I mean? He'd just given up. He's like, I'm not gonna be blind anymore and old. I'm gonna, whoever's around, they're gonna help. And I go, yeah, I'm here, man. And he goes, can you walk me home? <laughs> so cute, and pathetic, and pathetic. And I was like, where do you live, man? And he's like, 80, it was like 82nd in New York. We were like at 83rd and 1st or something. It wasn't that far. And I was like, all right, man. And I was thinking like, I started to get selfish thoughts. I'm like, oh, maybe we'll bond. Maybe we'll connect. Maybe I'll help the old blind guy and we'll have like a scent of a woman moment. He'll be like, tell me what you see. And I'll be like, I see a woman on a balcony. She's watering a plant. She's wearing a red dress. And he's like, I had sex once. And I'd be like, tell me about your life. <laughs> Didn't happen. Guy was a total dick, total dick. <laughs> At one point he kicked me, kicked me. We got to an intersection. I went to go left. He's like, nah, we go straight. We go left on the other side of the street. I'm like, all right, who's walking who guy? You know, like. <laughs> I, was, I just didn't like the guy. I wanted to like him so bad, and then he just sucked. And so we get to his doorstep, his stoop, and he pulls out his wallet. He goes, let me give you a couple bucks. And I go, nah, I gotta get going, man. It's not a big deal. He's like, nah, nah, nah. Let me give you a couple bucks. It's like, all right. He pulled out his wallet, and he like started thumbing, you know, he's thumbing, the, they thumb it up, you know what I mean? They like, I don't know what they do. They're feeling something. They got some process. And he's thumbing it up, and I don't know if he's old or what, but he had a single, a single, and a hundred. Single, single, hundred. And he pulled out the two singles to give them to me, you know? And I gently put my hand on his arm and I go, sir, I don't mean to offend you, but you're giving me a single and a $100 bill. And for the first time in our interaction, he smiled and he said, you know, it's good to know there are some nice, honest people in the world. And he put the single back in and he pulled out the hundred. And as he turned to me to give me the $101, a single tear rolled down his cheek. And he said, you're a good person. And I took the $101 and I said, no, you're a good person. <laughs> and if it costs $101 to give an old man some happiness, then God damn it, that's what it costs. That's what it costs. <laughs>